So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get plugins on your server from where we left off, left off last time. And let's get like custom skins like this. Like, that's kind of cringe though. But I'll show you how to do it in this exact video. So we want to go and download Oxide Rust. You can download it in the, my description or the card up here. And we want to open it. We drag Rust Dedicated in here. And it's going to make some new changes it is gonna add some new changes to rust data the rust dedicated underscore data it's gonna put some stuff in there and once it's done doing that you just want to run it with the start underscore bat you have and it's gonna generate a lot of these new folders and the one we're gonna be using is called oxide so in this thing called oxide we're gonna yeah, we want to go on this site or my description and you just uh, download it. Hashtag use my description, please. And you just drag, once it's downloaded, you just drag it into plugins like that. Copy to plugins. And now, after it's done, you do oxide.reload star. And that, and then it's gonna make a config file under here, and then we're gonna customize it. Now I forgot to mention that it comes with some, some text inside of it, and you just wanna delete all of it, and then paste in what I have in the description. And I'm gonna put this in the description, and this is all the files that you're gonna use. But before we make any more, I'm gonna show you that we're gonna need some important commands. And it's these commands. So oxide grant group admin, skins admin. So this just gives you the ability for the admin, for you, the owner of the server, to be able to add skins into the game. Or oxide underscore grant group default skin use. And that is allow players to use the skin box. <coughs> it's already allowed. So that's all you have to do. And now, by adding skins, I'm going to show you how to add a skin that's not even in the game. Let's say we go under the workshop. We type in Rust. Like this cool LR skin, it has the, the link here up here. It has the ID and this is the skin ID. So we want to take notepad again, control F search for alarm LR rifle 300 we do a comma here the control w control v and then control s to save and we do oxide dot reload star and now we do skin i forgot my alarm we do skin And as you can see, is the alarm from the workshop. Pretty cool, right? And don't forget to save the config by typing this command in. Now I'm going to show you how to download Rust, how to use the Rust kits command. I mean, the plugin that is the, like auto kits and like kits. First, we want to download the image library because it depends on it. So you can download my description or through the card up here. And then you drag the image library. Now that you have it, you want to drag it into the, your plugins folder. And the same you want to do with the Rust kits. You drag the Rust kits kits you drag rust the kits into plugins and then you go into the console type in oxide dot reload star now that it's done you wanna put in some commands for rust kits 
you don't require any commands for image library as this is just a extension and does not require any commands. But this one does require, uh, I mean, permissions, group admin, kids admin. Oxide grant kits.admin, you want post this into CMD and it's already been given. So that means I can do slash new kit, slash kit new. There we go. And we can just copy from inventory and then we can call this whatever. All right, existing name, description, icon, URL, you name it. And then you can like get like cool skins or whatever. Uh, where is it? And because we have the skin box, we can get like all these cool skins. So I just. Let's get the alien red, and then we want to swipe kit new, kit new, let's just name it, I don't know, admin, admin kit, permission, authorize, admin, off level, admin, it's already done, it's hidden, uh, file name, it doesn't matter, admin, icon URL, I just save it. Must contain all oh, copy for inventory. That save kit. As you can see, we can redeem the kit. And it's only us that can see it. It's not the players because it's hidden from them. So we can go into your. I haven't really configured anything under here. But this is the auto kit order pri priority. So we can type in admin. Or starter kit. I've already made one. So you start with this kit every time you respawn. And that is pretty much kits. How you do that. I'm going to show you the last one. And after this one you should be able to download all of these plugins by yourself. And do it yourself. Hopefully at least. But we want to configure this one. And configuration. Where's the permissions? There we go. So we want this URL. We want to copy this into our little cool, the cool thing here. And we just want to oxide grant default sign artist. Dot. That is interesting. There we go. Now it's in here. And you download it in my description or the card up here. And then you just drag it into the plugins. Uh, yeah, sign artist, drag it into the plugins. Go into your CMD, oxide.reload, and then it makes a thing in the config. But we don't we don't really need to configure it under the config. We just wanna type in this oxide grant default sign artist URL. And if we want to copy a URL in, we need a sale. Uh, so like, let's do like a monkey. Monkey man. We want to take this cool image, copy image address. That is a fine image address, I'll take that. to use that. So let's take a sign. Slap it on the wall. We type in sill, paste that in, close that in with raw.
and sometimes you have to do it again raw. Are you sure? Are you sure? Huh? Am I in the server? It should work. Maybe it's the URL. Sometimes it's just the URL. Let's try that again. I don't, I don't get this. I'm tired of typing this. Come on, come on, how? It should not be po- Oh! <laughs> it finally worked, I think. A flashlight? <gasps> Hell yeah, dude! And that is how you make a uh, sign artist plugin on your server at 3am.